everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. In this video, I'll be playing with some Shantikai products that are new to me and some that I've had for a while. And actually, if you saw my video of the two new limited edition eyeshadows, I'll link that one down below for you guys. I was playing with some of those products in that video, but I had edited that out so I could put another look in that video using the tiger shade, this one right here. So here is the other eyeshadow that was in that video. So yeah, I had to take that part out where I was using the cushion foundation, the bronzer, the powder, the liquid blush make room for that other look. So then I thought I'll just do a separate video using those products. So it was not gonna be too many Shantikai videos out there for you guys. But I wanted to play with this and to show you what I got and show you how it works on me and my skin tone. Let me go ahead and show you the eyeshadows that I'll be using. And actually I have six of them. Actually now eight with the two new limited edition ones. And these are the luminescent single eyeshadows. I know I have them all in my hand right now. The ones that I wanna play with is this one, the lion. And I'm gonna swatch them off for you guys on my hand so you can kind of see how it looks. But I want to use this shade right here. It's the Lion. And this one is classified as a golden copper. So let me go ahead and swatch that one there for you. Ooh, that's pretty. Let me come up closer. So there is the Lion. And the other shade, it's going to be a toss-up between Rhino, which is here's Rhino, which is a sophisticated olive. So I can see a little bit of the olive green in there. And the other shade that I'm thinking about is this one, the Elephant. And the Elephant is a shimmery taupe gray. So I don't know which one you think I should use with the Lion. I think, I don't know. Maybe the Elephant. I think I may use the Elephant. So this one is the Cheetah. And this is a warm champagne. That's a pretty nice one for the inner corner. And here's Pangolin, which is a dusty lilac. Here's Pangolin. And then the last one is the giraffe. And giraffe is a burnished bronze. So here are the six shades that I have. And let me go ahead and swatch the two new ones also. So you can kind of compare them to the other shades. And here is leopard. And I have to say, leopard is my favorite one and done shade. So here is leopard. It's a little bit, I would say, browner than the giraffe. And then the tiger, this beautiful emerald shade. Yeah, I mean, that is just beautiful. So here are all the sing single, single shades that I have from Shantikai, the single shadows. And all of these would be great for a one and done look, which I did in that video with the two limited edition shades, but then I wanted to add a black base with this tiger shade, with this emerald shade. Oops, yeah, I wanted to use a black base with this. So even though these are great one and done, I'm going to kind of combine them, because that's always fun too. I'm gonna use the lion, the first one that I uh, swatched, and I think this one, elephant. So yeah, I'm gonna use these two shades for this look. This is gonna be just a fun get ready with me using a lot of Shantikai products that are new to me, plus some old ones. So the new ones that I have is the cushion foundation. This is quite expensive. It's $128. So I've been using this for quite a while and I have some things to say about it. I also got the Flower Power Collection. It was the Blur Powder, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, the Blur Finishing Powder in Deep and also the Blush. And since I already tried these in that video, I've got some things to say about this one too, especially the blush. Also got the bronzer and let's see here, where are they? And two of the cream blushes. I wanted to try these. And also a lipstick here. This is with the, the Flower Power Collection. This was also in the Flower Power Collection. Let's see here. I think that is all. Oh, and let's try a lip gloss. So let me get my mirror and prime my eyes and we'll go from there. This video is not going to be a full face of Shantikai because I am using the Hourglass eyeshadow primer. I'll also be using some other products that are not from Shantikai. My favorite brow pencil, liner, eye pencil. So yeah, I hope you get my gist there. All right, got my primer on and what I'm going to use for a transition shade is I'm going to use the bronzer that I have from Shantikai. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it but I think it would be okay and it's this one in the shade Serene. Serena. Let me go ahead and swatch this one. I was kind of debating between this. So here is the bronzer that I got, Serene. Let me see the other bronzer's name, Goa. It was a choice between Serena and Goa, and I chose this one because Goa I thought was just a little bit too deep for me. But let's go ahead and use this as a transition shade. Because I am the one that just likes to have a transition shade in my crease. Actually, that's not bad for a transition shade. I like that. 
And I got these products that are new to me during Shantikai's birthday sale. A lot of these were 30% off and if you know Shantikai, you know that these are a little bit pricey. So I went ahead and got them when they were on sale. And I try to post things on my Instagram stories of when certain brands are having a sale because we all love to save money. All right, I think this will be good for the transition. Actually, this is not bad. And there is a little sheen, but it's not, you know, emphasizing my texture on my lids. All right, let's go. Now let's go into Elephant. This is the shimmery taupe gray. And if you're familiar with Shantika eyeshadows, each eyeshadow that sells will benefit the animal that's on the package. So they do give back to a lot of conservation efforts in Africa. So let's use this one. I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna place this one on the outer corner. These shades are very nice, very pigmented. I think I went a little too high up on this one. <laughs> Oops. Now I'm going in with Lion the Golden Copper. Also using my finger and placing that in the center of my eye and also to the inner corner. I didn't know if these two shades would look good together on the eye, but wanted to give it a try because I love this shade. And I also love Elephant because I've used Elephant as a one and done and really do like that one. All right, and that's it. May go back in with the bronzer and just kind of blend that crease out especially when I went a little higher than where I should in this side. Yeah, and word to the wise that it does have a little bit of fallout, especially with Lion. I'm trying to get every sparkle off from underneath my eyes there. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let me go in with Elephant one more time and just kind of deepen up that outer corner. All right, let me go ahead and prime my face with the Shantikai Mattifying Primer. This is just a white cream. And this one I've had for a while, really do like this primer. I do have combo oily skin, so this does help just kind of mattify this area. Now I have another primer that I've been using. This is by Guerlain. This is another mattifying primer. This one has like a gel finish. And I just place that on my pores there. Now for concealer, and I'm using my favorite by Clay de Poe. I did not get the one by Chantecai because I don't know how it is. If y'all try to let me know what you think, if it's similar to the Clay de Poe, found, uh, not foundation, the Clay de Poe concealer. So what I like to do is use the lighter one first for me, and this is buff. I always use my finger and place it in the inner corner and the outer corner. I'm gonna use the next shade darker hazelnut and kind of put that in the middle of my eye or underneath my eye. And just kind of blend those two together. That kind of works for me. And now let's try the cushion foundation and here's what it looks like. It has the elephant on the front. And let me look here. This one, every cushion that is sold, this feeds an orphan baby elephant rescued by the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. So it says one cushion equals one bottle of milk formula. That's pretty cool. And I have to say that this is an expensive cushion foundation. I got this one in the shade, oops. I got this one in the shade Wheat. So when you open it up, there is that. And let me swatch this one for you. So here is Wheat on my skin tone right there. Now, I have to admit, I thought Wheat would be a little darker than this. I think this will be more my winter skin tone because I am darker now. So I was quite surprised at how light this was. Probably should have gotten a deeper color, but there's only, let me see here, two, four, six, eight shades in this cushion foundation. But there is some kind of a technology with it, is that it, it has shades that stretch. So one shade has the versatility to work with multiple skin tones, so make it our most incredible inclusive foundation to date. And what makes the formula so unique is its flexibility. So I don't know, when I first tried it, I thought, oh, this looks so ashy on me. But I have to say that as the day wore on, it was kind of getting a little darker on me or it didn't look too ashy. But here, let me go ahead and show it to you here. And this is a light to medium coverage, which is not bad. I'm not mad with that. But it's just the shade rage. It's just a little ashy on me in the beginning. But I'm hoping when I put a uh, the finishing powder, that'll kind of deepen it up a little bit. Let me just do one side. But it looks really good on my skin though. 
not sinking in any fine lines. It's just the shade is just kind of throwing me off. But this will be more my winter color. I don't know if I want to get another one, the deeper one, because this one is $128. Maybe when I get the Future Skin Foundation, the one that comes in the jar, kind of maybe combine the two, because I did get the shade, the same shade, Wheat, and also I think I got one maybe a little bit darker or a little bit more golden. I believe it was Shea, but yeah. Let me show you what it looks like half with the foundation on and half with no foundation. So yeah, it's a little light, isn't it? But it does kind of match my neck a little bit. Oh, and let me show you the box that it comes in. Here's the box. And there's another refill cushion in the box. And when I open it, here's a picture of the elephant. Isn't that cute? So hey, I got the elephant on my face and elephants on my eyes. <laughs> so yes, here's the refill. I mean, you can see that it is light to medium coverage because you can see my melasma spots still coming through there. But it looks very nicely on the skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation, except for the ashiness, of course. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and do the things for my brows and the eyeliner off camera because that can be kind of boring. And the only thing that I'm using from Shantikai is the mascara. All the others, let's see here, the NYX eyebrow pencil, Tom Ford eyeliner. This is an, a brow gel by Suku and another mascara by Tom Ford because I like to layer them. And I forgot my uh, pencil by Essence. I like to fill it in my water bottle. Let me go ahead and do that off camera and my hair and I'll come back and do the bronzer, the cheeks, and the lips. All right, I'm back. And let's add some color to my face because, yeah, this foundation still is kind of light for me. But I have a feeling it's going to be a better match for me in the wintertime because it is, you can kind of see, yeah, it's a little light, a little ashy. But what I have been doing is using the Charlotte Tilbury, I guess it's the finishing powder, that finishing powder by Charlotte Tilbury in the number three shade. Whenever I apply that on my face, it kind of darkens it up a little bit. So let's see what happens when I use the Shantikai one. But first, let's go ahead and use the bronzer as a bronzer for this one. All right, bringing a little color to my face. Do my forehead there. Yeah, they did bring some color to my face, but let's just add a little bit more. And I do like this bronzer, and I'm glad I went with this shade, because I have a feeling if I went with Goa, I think that would just be a little bit too too dark, it may look like I have dirt on my face. That's what happens when I get too much of a, of a dark shade. But I think Serena, is that's the name of it, is a much better shade, even though I still look a little ashy with it. <laughs> right now, let's go in with these cream blushes, and I've heard good things about these, and I wanna try using a cream blush instead of a powder. So let's swatch this one lively, and I think I wanna use this one. No, it's, this one's vibrant. I want to use vibrant. It's more of a raspberry shade. The other one is lively, and this is a little bit more peachy. So here is lively, and this one's vibrant. Let me just kind of do that. So those are the two shades that hopefully will look on my cheeks. I think with this one, yeah, I look ashy in, in the camera, don't I? <sighs> But anywho, I think with this one, let me go in with some color with Vibrant with this look. So I don't know, should I use my fingers? Let me use this brush, the one that I use for the foundation. Let me just try that because I don't want to put a whole bunch on my face because I'm not used to using a cream blush. Ooh, I think I put too much. Yeah, I think I put too much. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty and it's laying down really nice on top of the foundation. Yeah, the foundation is a little light for me. I know, I know, but let's keep moving on. Let me try to clean this brush off and just add a little bit of foundation, just kind of tame it down a little bit. All right, I think that's looking good. I know I have a little bit more on this side, on my the apples of my cheeks. Let's just press on. Now let me show you this blush that was in the Flower Power. And here is what that one looks like. And this is more of a cream blush. It feels very silky on my finger. But when I tried this, it looks more of like a highlighter for me. So let's use this one as a highlight. I'm just gonna use a little bit here and just place that on top there because when I use this one as a blush in that video, it just looked another item that looked kind of ashy on me. But I think this one would be good for a highlighter because it does have a sheen to it, especially if you don't want too much of a bam highlighter on your cheeks there. But yeah, I think this would be good for a, um, a highlighter. <laughs> and also kind of pop it on the apples of your cheeks there. 
Now let's go in with this blur finishing powder. And again, this is in deep and here is what that one looks like. Let me swatch this one. Let's put it right there. So here is what the powder would look like. Let's go ahead and use a brush. And I hope that this just adds a little bit of color on my face. Let's go right here. Let's go one side first. So yeah, I think it did kind of deepen it up a little bit. Looks very nice on the skin, doesn't look powdery or cakey. Okay, so I did one side with the powder and the other side without. Do you see a difference in the shade? Yes, no, maybe. I do like this powder because it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look drying, kind of like the Gucci powder that I, that I do like. Now let's go for the lipstick. I know there's just one piece of hair that's just there. <laughs> now let's go for the lipstick and this one was also in the Flower Power collection that was in with this, the powder and the blush. And here is the bullet here, pretty orangey shade. And the shade is this Cupuchin, I believe that's how you pronounce it. There is the name. This one is a little bit bright, but let's go for it and I love the lip cheek formula. Here is Cupuchin, I believe that's how you say it. I know I'm saying it wrong, but yeah, that's an orange shade. May not work with this eye look, but I think it'd be okay. So here is that. Yeah, now excuse that part right there. <laughs> very light, very creamy on the lips and pigmented as you can see. I don't think this will work with this look because I don't have too much of a dramatic eye, don't have too much of a dramatic lip, do have a little ashy face here, but this kind of brightens it up a little bit. Now let's go in with this lip gloss. This is the first time I've tried lip gloss from Shantikai. And let's see, the shade Classic, I believe. Oh, it comes with like a, maybe a brush doe foot applicator. Maybe this might tone it down a little bit. This is a little bit of a, maybe like a light coral. Very smooth. Yeah, I think this kind of tones it down a little bit. This is the finished look of using mostly Chantecaille products. A lot of new ones and a lot of old ones for me. The foundation, I know it looks light. I know it looks light. But I think it will be a better match for me in the winter time. And it's $128 and I don't know if I'll be getting the darker version of this. Maybe if they do another sale, I would. But for now, I think I can wait and just try out the uh, foundation, the one that comes in the jar. And maybe I can apply them both at the same time, kind of combine them. But I do like how this foundation looks on my skin. It's not looking dry, it's not looking cakey, it looks like my skin and I kind of like the cream blushes now. But yeah, I do like a cream blush, especially this one. This one's real pretty, I like the color. I haven't tried this one lively yet, the peachy one. But hopefully when I get the other foundation, I know this hair is just <laughs> not cooperating, but hopefully when I try the other foundation or even the next time I play with makeup, I wanna try this one. And the powder looks really good on my skin. It's not caking up, it's not drying my skin. And the eye look, I like this eye look. It's very simple, it's not very dramatic. And I like using the bronzer as a transition shade. And I like the bronzer as a bronzer too. Well, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching me get ready with a lot of my Chantecaille products. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.